find the equation from graph of the cubic function. So here we are given a transformed cubic function and we need to write down the equation from the given graph. As you know, x cube, the parent function, the coordinate points on x cube will normally be 0, 0 and then minus 1, minus 1 and 1, 1. So these are our typical points on x cube function which we are always looking into. So 0, 0 is a point of inflection, right? But in this particular graph, we find that our point of inflection has shifted. And it has shifted 1, 2, 3, 4 units left. So the transformation is 4 units left and 2 units up and 2 units up, right? You also see that there is a reflection. Since the graph normally goes from quadrant 3 to 1, this is from quadrant 2 to 1. So we have a reflection on x-axis, right? Now, as far as the horizontal stretch and compression is concerned, this point, which, have, which should have been 1 unit, it is actually 1, 2, 3 units stretched, right? So there is a vertical stretch by a factor of by 3, by factor of 3. And horizontally it is one unit away. So there is no horizontal stretch or compression in this particular case. So these are the transformations which we observe. Actually speaking, we should have written these transformation in the reverse order, right? Always see from that side. But it is easy to get the translation first, right? Now once you write this, then you have to check does it make sense or not, right? Now, yes, let's check it. So, this is the easiest point to get. Four units left, two units up, reflection, vertical stretch. It does make some, some, so it seems to be correct. Now, for a transform function, we can always write our equation of the transform function as g of x equals to a times, whatever the function is, k times x minus t, plus c. Now in this transformed function we know that there is a reflection on x-axis so a is negative vertical stretch by a factor of 3 that means a is negative 3 right and the function given to us is cubic function so we'll write here q. Now there is no horizontal stretch or compression so k is 1. However there is a translation towards left by 4 units. So this is x plus 4 and 2 units up. That means c is 2 units. So we get our function g of x which is minus 3 times x plus 4 to the power of 3 plus 2. So that is the equation which does represent the given graph. Now it's a good idea to test our points. So we can test it in a way. Let's place some value of x and test our point. For this x is minus 4. So if x equals to minus 4, what is the value of y from the given equation? So the y value is, if I write minus 4 here, then this becomes 0. The whole thing is 0 and I am left with 2. Yes, that is correct. Now if I want to test this point, then this is at minus 3. So if I write x equals to minus 3, what do I get for y? minus 3 plus 4 will be 1, 1 cube is 1, times minus 3 is minus 3, minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1, and that is also correct. So it seems that the equation is perfectly fine. So we can write down our answer as the transfer function g of x is equals to minus 3 x plus 4 whole cube plus 2, right? So that is how we can get the equation from the graph. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you.